Hey folks, we are playing Flashlight. We have a bit of a rivalry with this guy. He's a good player. Um, we beat him last time we played him twice, but it was both both games. Ah, both games were tough. Getting other moves. Um, I think bishop f4 for some reason. Why? Why not bishop g5? No, bishop g5 is the move, sorry. Is it rookie one? I think so. I think this move for some reason. Now what, knight f4? I don't know, I'm just gonna do it. I think I probably had this game against him before, but now I have two bishops against two knights, so I feel like comfortable. Slightly better. Uh, h3? Okay. I could also trade all the rooks and that should be better. Yeah, the thing is I'm slightly better, but it's not like... so easy. I don't have my water in the room. I'm gonna die of thirst in the middle of this game. Bad. What's this move? I don't understand. Alright, I'm gonna go Richard before. I don't know, like, why would he do that? <laughs> uh... Plan, like B3 maybe? I mean, that's the move I'm gonna play. It's obviously not his plan. But I, I want to secure the C4 square for my bishop. I should just be better. Two bishops. These two knights. Usually better for the bishops. I don't know. Bishop c4 looks good. I'm just gonna do it. Okay, now I'm queen d3 with the idea of taking on d6. Looks okay. I can't probably take on g6 with queen c4, but something to keep in mind later. Oh, he's a4? Then I can go b4. Okay for me. Just the key in this type of position, keep everything under the control, and then wait for your opportunity. Now, queen g6 is not a threat, because a queen takes c4. Queen takes f6, queen takes c2, it just doesn't look like a threat to me. Maybe bishop h6 is an idea, but it's probably too weird. It almost certainly is too weird. So, I actually like... I don't know what my, my next move is. A4 allows knight b4, so I don't like that. I want... Okay. Um... Rook takes... Takes... I'll probably just take. Let me think. Now nah, whatever. So, we just gotta keep an eye out for things. I wanna go here for some reason. Oh, then knight e5. Just this. Help me much though. Queen g3, I like this move. My idea is if knight f6, bishop d6? Queen a3, bishop. Oh, I forgot about that move. It's okay. Mm, I'll just go here. I'm not worried about the safe pawn for some reason. Maybe I should be, who knows. Oh wow, it's surprising. Very surprising. Now I just go a4. A clear positional advantage. Why didn't he take on a3? Oh, I take on b5, duh. Sorry, I got confused. Bishop d6. I'm gonna go back here. Uh, and if knight h5, I probably can go queen g6. I'm not sure. Maybe he can, he can still... Queen c4 there, and then if queen h5, queen c2. Probably he can. Let's think. I think knight h5 is playable. I'll just move my queen. Then he has knight e5 at the end of everything. Ugh. Alright, let me think. Queen g6, queen c4. Queen h5, e2, wait, 
All right. Um, I'm just going to do. I assume I'll take and go knight e5, and I can move my bishop to b5. Because if, if he takes, I take on. I'll put it here. Bishop f1 is also playable. I'll do this though. I'm going to go queen e4 next. I, I mean, he can consider sacking a piece, but it's a little risky. Alright, so the position seems like okay enough for him. Maybe I wish my bishop was an f1. So like g3 and bishop, but probably not. Four seems interesting. I'm going to get space for my king first before I do any crap like that. What's his counterplay here? I don't know. I'm going to do this. Uh, h4, I will play it at some point. But it does give up the g4 square, so maybe I'll just sit around and do nothing for a little bit. I can't resist. <laughs> I don't know, I gave up a square on g4. I don't know if it's a big deal or not. Hard for him to come up with a useful plan here. So I, mean, I, I should really just do nothing for a little bit. And I feel like that would be annoying. Like, I'm going to play this move. It's a totally useless move. But the idea is just that he has a hard time coming up with a plan. So by making a useless move, it kind of amplifies that issue. Queen a8 would have been useful, too, you know, forcing him back to a7. And then repeating the position, gaining time on the clock. Bishop e2. Makes some sense. Uh, I think I'll just do it. Bishop's good here. I didn't see that because I suck at chess. Right, come in with the king. On the plus side, I have an active king. I may have some advantage here. F5, king f4. Active king. That should just be much better. King uh, Bishop b5 and king e5 is coming. So... The queen trade didn't really help, and because his king's way out of the game, whereas mine's centrally located. I don't know, maybe you should just go d3 here, honestly. I'll do this. King e5's coming. We're most likely going to win this game. We're way up on time. Not sure what he's going to do. All right, let's think for a second. I can probably ignore that, or I can I can even go king e6. Kind of a useful, kind of a nice move. And then if knight g6, yeah, I'm going to do this quick. Oh, no, 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 wait. Yeah, if he takes the pawn, I can still take his knight. I'm winning. I'll just do it. Because um, he can't queen this pawn because bishop c6 stops it. And now... I'm up on time, so I'm, I'm giving myself the the luxury of good technique. I'm actually going to just take this. King g6, f4. Bishop e8 is coming. I'm winning more pawns. Fine. Alright, uh, decent game because I kept control of the position for the most part. This knight h5 thing was annoying. But, my main point was, right around here, like, I'm always better, because I have these two bishops. You know, and I, it looks like I can take, but then he has this in-between move. I have issues. And yeah, this I didn't understand. I mean, you should take. Oh, no, no, sorry, he can't, if he takes, I take this. Sorry. I, I didn't see it, but, whatever. You know, well, well prepared player is lucky or something. Isn't that some saying? So now, yeah, this move is like a little suspect because of knight h5. I, I, you know, I, I would love to take. He takes this. I take this. He takes this. This 
past D pawn looks mighty annoying. I just gave in. And I, I know you can't take on C2 because I take his knight. I mean, you could try it, but it's unlikely to be good. And I felt like I just have some small stable edge here. Especially with my time advantage. Because like, it's really hard when you don't have a plan. That's the thing. And he doesn't have many waiting moves that are not, like, unpleasant to make. Like, I have vague plans, like h5, or this pawn's a weakness, or some attack with my bishop and queen. He doesn't really have anything to do. So I felt like I can just kind of, like, screw around for a little bit. I just played bishop f1. It's nothing... Nothing. I had no plan. Uh, and then I went here, I figure I'll defend this square, block this second rank. And I totally didn't even see this, but, you know, because my pieces are just better placed, it happens to be good for me. I wonder how good it is. Virtually winning. Uh, the whole position, though, is kind of like slight edge for white. So, nice, I think nice solid game by me. I didn't see everything, but for the most part, I played pretty well. Once you get those two bishops against two knights, you just kind of chill out. You know, make sure to keep things under control, and chances of winning are good. See y'all next time. Bye-bye.